What's up, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. And today, we're going to be talking knife lingo, where we tell you what the heck we're talking about. Now, maybe you're new to knives and are wondering what all these different terms mean. Or maybe you've been into knives for a while, and we used a term that you're not familiar with. Either way, you're guaranteed to learn something. Whether or not it's useful is questionable, objective, and completely up to you. Now, before we get started, uh, we want to let you know, be sure if you like this video, like to smash that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that notification bell so you will know when we drop new videos. Seriously, people, do I have to keep saying it? Also, join us in the comments down below, and without further ado, let's light it up. Now, today on Knife Lingo, we're going to be talking pivots. No, not the Ross Geller kind of pivot, the kind that makes your favorite knife smooth and sometimes flicky. Is flicky even a word? Who cares? Pivots didn't really become a talking point with knives until the introduction of the modern folder, and chaos has ensued, with companies utilizing amazing and, and innovative designs and materials to make their blades pop out as fast and as smooth as possible. And they've really come a long way. When it comes down to the pivot itself, there are really only a few different kinds being used, and they typically fall into three categories, either washers, ball bearings, or the least common, bushings. Now, as far as washers go, you're going to typically find nylon used on more budget-friendly options. Teflon is going to be used in mid-grade knives, and bronze, like these right here, are going to be used on more higher-end applications. Now, for bearings, you're going to find usually either steel or ceramic ball bearings, and they will either be in a channel on the handle scales, or they're going to be caged like Carol Baskin's Tigers, or this CRKT Bonafide right here. You can see those cage pivots. Now, the last kind of pivot is a bushing pivot found on several Spyderco models, as well as the beloved Chris Reeve Sabenza. Now, you're going to see right here, here's a great example of those bushing pivots on this Spyderco Par Paramilitary 2. Now, that pivot just slides right out of the blade pivot hole right there, slides in, then it's tightened down with screws on each side of the handle scale. Now, the beauty of bushing pivots is that you can tighten down the handle scales as much as you want to, and it's not going to affect the blade opening at all. Now, that's the great part about it. The, the bad part about it is it does require tighter tolerances, and it requires better manufacturing. So, you're going to usually find those on more high-end knives. That's all for me, folks. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, if it cuts... We carry it. 